hearing that news? Um, honestly, we both uh, went out on a huddle and uh, with the first play, and both of us in the huddle with the cameras on. Uh, we didn't know, you know, and then I just kind of like take a couple steps to the side as we called the play, and um, we was like, no, you went. So, you know, I found out, I found out. Really? You was <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, seriously, like I didn't, right I there. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I don't know the bus ride over. No, man, no, man. All I know is Coach Beck kept coming to me. Hey, did Coach talk to you? I'm like, about what? Like, what do you think? <laughs> like, nah, he didn't say nothing to me yet. What did it mean to you to get to get the start to win that personal battle? Uh, you guys had gone at it last summer. Um, I, I don't think the battle is over. You know, uh, what, you have two great guys with experience and uh, can lead the team in uh, their own way. Um, we, we put ourselves in a unique situation as a team with uh, me and JT just because of our talent and um, just because of how the team, you know, rolls on each of us in the game. All yes. right, Cornell, when at the beginning of the game, since you didn't know until he said you were in, when they were going through the role, when you guys were going through the warm ups and you were taking reps from Jacoby Bourne and then you were the second on, were you reading into what was going on at that point? Like we no, were in the that, press that's, box? That's, that was camp. That's how we did the whole camp. You know, it was times I got to go with the ones, times he was going with the twos and vice versa. And it was times, you know, I was with the ones and uh, Coach Akala situation, yeah, Cardell, he just lost his helmet or, or uh, equipment issue, JT ran in. So if they did an unbelievable job keeping us both ready, as you see, both of us were ready. When he, um, finally got a chance to um, play in the fourth quarter. I mean, he took the team right down the field in the scoring drive. Bill. Coach Meyer said that he was going to tell you guys Saturday. He didn't tell you Saturday? No, nah, he didn't tell us, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he didn't tell us. And, and how would you assess your play today? Uh, I mean, not too much in my play, but the uh, offense. We, we, we had a rhythm, but we hit a couple speed bumps. Um, uh, we, we had two turnovers, but led to touchdowns. So, the, the, in my opinion, the score in the game could have got out of hand uh, quicker than it did. But um, just clean up on them uh, turnovers and um, mental mistakes. And then I'm pretty sure you see more from us next week. Last two questions. First, Pat, and then Marla. I saw you uh, impersonating Braxton Spinmove on the sideline. What was it like watching him make that play and having him back as a big weapon? It was sick. I, I think mine was kind of better on the sideline. <laughs> um, it, it was crazy because I was on a, I was looking across the field because it was uh, like kind of not a trick formation, but I was at the wide out position. And after he broke, I'm like, well, I'm not about to like run down there with him. Then I see him spin. I'm like, hold it. Like, okay, he's back. And so I still think mine was better. Though. And Marla. Did JT say anything during, during the night about congratulate you or you know anything about how the situation turned out? No, nah, not really, because like I said before, I don't think the battle is over. You know, we, I still, well, we still got to stay razor sharp in, um, in our play and um, stay locked into the game plans each week. Um, just continue to stay ready. You know, our numbers can be called any moment. You know, I, I'm not even sure who will start Saturday, so. Cardinal, one last thing. When you were running onto the field, you started motioning to the crowd to make a little noise at the play. Yeah, so yeah. Kind of like, just based on that excitement, you were going to start, or was it just... No, no, not really. It's just um, they, they think this was a, I mean, it was a, it was a unbelievable environment. It was a hostile environment and um, definitely one of the top environments I ever played in. They only played four games, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but still, no, I just want to let them know, like, I think I did that in Alabama game too as well, because that's basically a home game for them in the Sugar Bowl, but let them know the crowd, you know, they had so much hype about the crowd, the noise, and basically, it wasn't going to be a factor, so like, get as loud as you want. Cardale, thank you very much.